Will, um, is a very good person. He thinks that he's doing the right thing at all times, and he and he's very sort of cocksure about that. Basically, that that he is um, has as the voice of the people and and can get through to the sheriff and do things the right way, which he thinks is the right way, a diplomatic way and, and talking and, and try to work things out that way with your head. Um, Robin would have a more sort of hands-on, fiery approach to, to, to change. Um, but what's interesting I think about Will is that he definitely has a side of that in him that he has sort of kept, he is kept under control. Um, but we see it come out when, when, when things really get pretty bad here and we see that he actually is a true warrior himself. I mean, it's huge, you know. Um, I guess you couldn't tell this story without a lot of action, but this action's extreme. It's more than anything I've ever experienced. I mean, I've never been on a... I've never done a movie that has, uh, you know, this kind of budget and, and this, you know, this sort of scale. I guess I've done big movies, but not, not in this kind of way, and not in this scale of production and the amount of sort of stunts and um, fire and <laughs> explosions and um, special effects is like nothing I've ever seen. You know, um, very exciting. And the uh, and the action scenes, for my money, are unlike anything I've ever seen before. And a lot of particularly of Tyron and his, his bow and arrow stuff, the pace of them and the sort of energy of those scenes. <coughs> I think people are going to be really sort of on the edge, edge of their seat watching that. It's sort of timeless in a way. I mean, we're, we're kind of trying not to make it feel anything like it's set in the 1100s, you know. Um, I want it to feel like it's own sort of almost dystopian world, you know but have all the elements that, that, that we need to, to, to somewhat honour the story of Robin Hood. Um, but, you know, I think every, God, you know, almost any generation can, can uh, you know, can understand the sort of totalitarian ruling and, you know, uh, <laughs> and people being forced to live a way that doesn't seem fair or right or just very prevalent at the moment uh, <laughs> with uh, certain parts of the world and um, that sense of you know unjust and and and, and uh, of segregation and uh, not not having a sort of democratic open arms approach to to uh, politics 